Floras have been considered as one of the very important taxonomic tools because they, they play a vital role in the documentation of plant composition in a given area and also helps in the identification of the plants for research and other purposes. So in this video, let us try to understand the various aspects about the floras. The word flora refers to the plants occurring within a given region as well as to the publication of the scientific descriptions of those plants. A flora may contain anything from a simple list of the plants occurring in an area to a very detailed account of those plants. A flora almost and always contains scientific names and it may also include the common names, literature, references, descriptions, habitats, geographical distributions, illustrations, flowering times and notes. Less often, floras include such specialized information as the data on the plant chemistry, reproduction, chromosome number and population occurrences. Sometimes the plants are listed alphabetically and sometimes they are represented within a classification system that indicates which plants are most similar or thought to be related. Floras often include devices called keys that enable the user to identify an unknown plant. Botanists have been writing floras since early 1600s. Physicians used floras for information on medicinal plants, while horticulturists used floras to identify plants that might be brought into cultivation. The form of floras, that is, list of plants with associated information about them, has changed very little over the centuries. But in the last two decades, the use of computers to store and organize such information has increased dramatically. Early floras usually were written by individuals based on observations of the plant samples and literature available to them, both of which were quite limited. More recently, floras of large scope have been written by collaboration of many authors who collectively have examined thousands of plant samples and evaluated and incorporated information from dozens or even hundreds of publications. Now about the types of floras. Example, continental flora that is the flora of Europea by D.A. Webb. Country floras like uh, Flora of British India was published in seven volumes. Then Flora of India by Botanical Survey of India in 23 volumes. Then Provincial floras. Example, Flora of Presidency of Madras by Gamble and Fisher which was published in three volumes. Similarly, Flora of B Bombay Presidency by T. Cook. Then state floras like uh, Flora of Karnataka by Cecil J. Saldana. District floras. Examples, Flora of Hassan District by Saldana and Nicholson. Flora of Bangalore District by S. V. Ramaswamy and B. A. Razi. Flora of Mysore District by R. R. Rao and B. A. Razi. Flora of Tumukuru District by B. Bhaskar and C. J. Kushalappa. Flora of Chikmagalore District by S. N. Yoganirasimhan, Subramanyam and B. A. Razi.
Flora of British India by Hooker. Then the records of Botanical Survey of India, Volume 8, which covers the flora of Arabica, published in 1921. Flora of Karnataka, Volume 3, Monocotyledons by Botanical Survey of India. Flora of Andhra Pradesh by T. Pullaya and Krupuswami. Floor of the Presidency of Madras by Gamble. Similarly, Floor of uh, Tumukuru District in Karnataka by V. Bhaskar and C. G. Kushalappa. Then Floor of uh, Chikmangalur by Yoganarasimman, Subramanyam and B. A. Razi. This is Floor of Udupi by K. Gopala Krishna Bhatt. Then Floor of uh, Anishi National Park in uh, Western Ghat regions by Sachin Punekar and Lakshmi Narasimhan. An electronic flora or digital flora is an online resource which provides descriptions of the associated plants often also providing identification keys or partial identification keys to the plants described online floras provide research botanists with the opportunity to work on floristic treatments dynamically and enable users to browse and search these treatments a web-based program called eFloras was developed to enable an access to online electronic floras. Though a web interface to the data, users can browse online floristic treatments by volume, family and genus and can search by name, distributional data and text. With the use of web forum, editors and authors with permissions can correct and update the data. eFlora India website is one of the biggest non-commercial site on it is one of its kind in the world and also without advertisements based on the collection of photographic images of plants where no money or professional organization is involved except for the selfless efforts of its members from diverse backgrounds it is documenting the flora of indian subcontinent that is being discussed in eflora google e group along with the supplementing the working of the group it also has the largest database on net on Indian flora with more than 14,000 species. It also includes some of the species from around the world which has been posted by the members of the group. More than 250,000 pages have been already displayed at the species pages along with displaying these at genera and family pages for comparative purposes for easy identification list of families covered the list of tridophytes the fungi bryophytes algae can be accessed at the given links such option is also available under the search of this site box the center at the top of the site The Center for Ecological Sciences, Indian Institute of Science, houses a herbarium of a fairly large number of specimens of native and naturalized plants collected by many taxonomists and researchers from India and abroad. This herbarium is recognized internationally by the acronym JCB. The collection consists of more than 14,000 species from vascular plants to lichens. 
the collection is richest in plants from the state of Karnataka with holding from the adjoining states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala as well. Another significant collection is several hundred specimens from the forests of Western Ghats, an area not well represented in the most South Indian herbaria. Specific groups represented well in the herbarium include Cypressae, Fabaceae, Orchidaceae, Poaceae, Scrofulariaceae, Ferns and Allies those reflecting the primary research interest of the past staff. Then how to write a flora? The first one is the identification of the study area, then geography of the region, then ecological information, the floristic zonation, then collection of the plants, maintenance of the field notebooks, then identification of the specimens with the help of the available literature, then nomenclature of the new species. Then incorporation of author citation, botanical keys, species descriptions, arrangement of families. Then the components of flora, title, geography, environmental conditions, taxonomic treatment which includes nomenclature, vernacular name, description, cultivar if any, phenology, distribution, ecological data, use thus, conservation status, origin, list of voucher specimens that is the specimens preserved that serve as the verifiable and permanent record, then summary statistics, bibliographic information, illustrations and lastly index. The species descriptions in Floras. A correct name is required, vernacular name, then clear description with variations, distributional data, ecological condition, uses, conservation status, native or exotic origin. Now the utility of flora. It is useful to the teachers, researchers and students of botany, biotechnology, agriculture and other branches. And it helps in the identification of the plants and also the evaluation of phytogeography pattern. The also, it helps in the assessment and management of uh, with respect to the biodiversity, forest and ecosystem management. The plant information of a particular geographical area, then medicinal plant data and assessment of rare and endangered species. These are the few references. Thank you.